Uh, Beast Man, you're supposed to be behind the camera. This is where I stand. Go on, get back there now. Yes, Skeletor. Right, and you're not pointing the camera in the right direction. Bring it down a bit. Okay, Skeletor. Right, not that much. Bring it up a bit, you idiot. Right, right. That's it. Stop there. Stop there. Right, okay. Right, zoom in a bit. No, no not that much, you cretin. Right, zoom out again. Zoom out again. Uh, right, right, just leave it there. Uh, right, are you recording yet? Uh, I don't know, Skeletor. Um, well, is the red light on? Uh, I think so, Skeletor. What do you mean you think so? Either it is or it isn't. Ah, it was so inconsiderate of Whiplash to die last week. This episode is already a shambles. My God. Right, let me see if the light is on. Uh, right, right, we're recording, so don't touch anything, Beast Man, okay? Okay, Skeletor. Right, let's start the show. Mm, greetings! I am Skeletor, and welcome back to Skeletalk, the series where I answer your questions. Shh! It's the Internet's best kept secret. Uh, right, we start with a question from... Uh, Beast Man, where's the first question? There's nothing on the auto queue. Uh, I can't remember how it works, Skeletor. Oh, for goodness sake, Beast Man, I showed you this morning. I've already input all the questions. You just need to click on each one as I get to it so it appears on the screen. Uh, like this, Skeletor? No, that's a photo of a cow's nose, you donkey. Get rid of that and bring up the question. Uh, is this the right one, Skeletor? No, you've clicked on the cow's nose again. Um, what about now? Beast Man, stop surrounding me with cow's noses. Click on the undo button. Right, and again. And again. Right, now click on the first question. No! That's a photo of a goose! Look, I'll, I'll show you. Right, look. Undo. Right, this one. Right. Uh, right. Sorry, everybody. I think it was a mistake giving Whiplash's job to Beast Man. Okay, the first question is from Weapon Zero, who asks, Will you be having a funeral for Whiplash, and where can we send flowers? Eh, uh, no! There will be no funeral, because Whiplash's body has already been taken by the garbage truck to the landfill site, along with the rest of last week's trash. And as for flowers, I would appreciate it if you didn't send any, because I am allergic to pollen. B Beast Man, you're supposed to pull up a picture of some flowers. No, that's a cow's nose again. Undo. Uh, right, click on the flowers. Not full screen. Insert. Ah, oh, good grief. Right, just... Just take it down. Oh, Christ, we're going to be here all week. Right, bring up the next question. Not that big. Try again. Not up there. I'll just leave it. Right. <clears throat> okay, this question is from Retro Toy Guy Sai, and it's for Darth Vader. Uh, Vader! Vader, come here immediately. What do you want, Skeletor? Right, Simon wants to know how you deal with tech problems. Is it reasonably and calmly, or do you just start force-choking loved ones? Uh, I usually just turn everything off and on again. If that doesn't work, I smash everything to bits. Uh, what do you do? Uh, well, I usually get whiplash to sort any problems, but now he's rather unhelpfully dead. I suppose I'll have to rely on the Geek Squad. Um, uh, Vader? Yes, Skeletor? Get out of my sight before I beat you. Right. Okay, Beast Man. Next question. Um, okay. Uh, this question is from Jason Raphael Murdoch. Uh, uh, Beast Man, bring up the graphic for Jason's name. Oh, too small. Never mind. Right. And Jason asks, would you prefer Teela to become evil or Evil Lynn to become good? Oh, well, obviously the first option. Did you really need to ask? <laughs> and thanks, Jason. And next question, Beast Man. Okay, Mike Ciccone asks how I am able to make various sounds without any face flesh. He asks if I use chaos magic or my buttocks. Uh, well, Mike, yes, I use chaos magic to produce my vocals, and I use my anus and buttocks to produce noises such as this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the question. Right, next one, Beast Man. 
Okay, Steve Jones writes, I am eager to create a sandwich in your honor. What ingredients would you like it to feature? Um, I think ham, tomato, Branston's pickle, and crinkle cut salt and vinegar crisps. Yummy. Uh, thank you for your sandwich related question. Dean from All Things 80s writes, the last question from this episode was asked by Steve Jones. Can you tell me what your favourite Sex Pistols song is? Uh, Beast Man, we need the Sex Pistols graphic. Oh God, you're crap at this. No, that's a cow's nose again. Are you doing this on purpose? Uh, right, okay. Uh, sorry, Dean. I'm afraid I only know about three Sex Pistols songs, so I will have to say Anarchy in the UK, however predictable that answer may be. Uh, next one, Beast Man. Okay, the flyer tractor asks, if you chose a cartoon biker gang to party outside Castle Grayskull all night, putting the sorceress in a bad mood, who would you choose? Biker mice from Mars or Avenger penguins? Beast man, mice and penguins. Ugh. Right, this is a difficult choice to make, but I think the best choice would be the Avenger penguins. My decision was based on the likelihood that the penguins would also leave behind lots of fishy shits, which is marginally worse than mouse piss. And next one, Beast Man. Alex James writes, I had heard that Beast Man was classically trained on the stage and that he was the chauffeur to the late Richard Burton. Do either of these rumours ring true? Um, well, the first rumour, no. Uh, Beastman is not even litter trained. Uh, the second rumour, yes. In fact, he is still chauffeur to the late Richard Burton. He's been driving that corpse around since 1984. Uh, thanks, James. Uh, next question, Beastman. Andrew Andrew wants to know if I play any video games. Um, well, generally, no, as I am far too busy being evil. However, I am very partial to playing all sorts of games on the Sega Game Gear, particularly Castle of Illusion, Shinobi, Ninja Gaiden, and the Lucky Dime Caper. Uh, Beast Man, click on the photo of the Game Gear. Oh, for crying out loud, try to keep up. Oh, this is infuriating. Uh, thanks for the question, Andrew. The next question, you hairy Burke. Okay, Soda Cauldron has a question for Yuri Geller and wants me to call him. I'll just grab my phone. Okay, right. Here we go. It, it, it's ringing. Hello? Hello, Yuri Geller. It's Skeletor. Now I have a question for you. When you began to make it in show business, did you ever say, I'm breaking through, I'm bending spoons? Uh, yes, I did say that. And Michael Stipe stole the phrase for an REM song. What? No, oh, that does it. Uh, Yuri, I have to go now. Goodbye. <clears throat> right. Soda, listen to me, you donkey. How dare you set a trap for me? That definitely didn't work, by the way. You've pushed my buttons one too many times, and I've had enough of it. I suggest you lock your windows and doors, because I'm coming for you. There will never be another REM reference on this show. That I can promise you. Fuck! Highly decorated ninny Gerard O'Connor asks... If, following the demise of Whiplash, I will be going on the lam to evade the authorities, and if this turn of events has made me consider heroism instead of villainy. Er, uh, no and no. Not only do I deny responsibility for the death of the stupid reptile, I have also decided to double down and become twice as much of a twat to everyone around me. And I'm shouting because I'm still cross about Soda's question. Right, Beastman, next question. Right, breathe, Skeletor, breathe. Okay, Stephen Gray asks if I would replace one of my minions with YouTube sensation Ronnie Pickering. Er, uh, no, I did not know who he was, so I searched for him on YouTube, and having watched the videos, I still don't know who he is. He appears to be some sort of bellend, and I don't employ bellends. Thanks, Stephen. New subscriber Gary's Action Man channel asks, Do you know other supervillains besides Hordak? Yes, Gary, I know all the supervillains. I have made it my business to make their acquaintance, and I have most of them on speed dial. 
If you'd like me to call any of them, just leave a question in the comments. Thanks Gary, and welcome to the channel. Nick from the Action Podcast writes, I am willing to give you the spell to resurrect Whiplash. However, I would need to hear you and Beastman perform some lines from Grease's Summer Loving. You would be Sandy and Beastman would be Danny. Well, sir, I assume you mean the song Summer Nights. Uh, well, Whiplash's body is no longer on the premises, but I'm always happy to learn a new resurrection spell, so I agree to your terms. Beastman, come here immediately. Mm, yes, Skeletor. Do you know Summer Nights from Greece? Uh, yes, Skeletor. Right, sadly, so do I. Right, let's sing it. You first. A two, three, four. Summer loving had me a blast. Summer loving happened so fast. I met a girl crazy for me. I met a boy cute as can be. Summer, summer days, days drifting, drifting away, away to uh, uh, all those summer, summer nights. Oh, well, 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 well. Right. That's enough of that rubbish. I'm never doing that again. Beastman, get out of my sight before I beat you. Mm, yes, Skeletor. Okay, that's the end of the episode. I'm sorry that it was such a mess, but it seems that the learning curve was too steep for Beastman. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your minions. Do subscribe if you haven't already done so, and don't forget to leave me a comment, a telephone call request, or a question for next week. Right, I'm off to edit the show myself, again. See you next time. Beastman, you were fucking useless. Do better. Get out of my sight before I beat you. Thank you.